Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a neo-noir crime thriller film from 1998 titled Wild Things. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film starts with Sam Lombardo, an attractive Blue Bay High School guidance counselor who is giving a lecture about sex crimes. He also invites Detective Ray and Gloria to educate the students. One day, one of his students, Kelly, approaches Sam after he's sailing with his student, Jimmy. Kelly asks Sam if she and her friend can wash his Jeep for charitable cause. Sam says they can, she also asks Sam if he can give her a ride home because her mother didn't show up. Sam seems reluctant to do it so she offers Jimmy a ride too. When they arrive at her house, Kelly's mother greets Sam and tells to come in first. Sam and Kelly's mother used to be in a relationship. Sam politely refuses and quickly drives away. On Sunday, Kelly and her friend come to Sam's house. They wash Sam's car until it cleans. After they're finished, Kelly tells her friend to return home so she can be alone with Sam. Kelly enters the Sam's house and giving him lustful stare. The next day, Kelly cries in front of her mother and tells that she is forcefully intimated by Sam. Kelly's mother is very angry then immediately reports it to the detective Ray and Gloria. Kelly describes to them how Sam did it. After listening to her statement, Detective Gloria believes she is just acting and making things up because there's no physical evidence to prove that. In other hand, Detective Ray believes Kelly's statement. The next day, Detective Ray and Gloria come to the school and tell about Sam's case to the principal. Then the principal informs Sam that the board is planning to suspend him until the case cleared. The principal advises him to hire a lawyer. He approaches a lawyer, Kenneth Bowden, to defend him. Kenneth agrees to represent him in court after hearing his side of the story. One day, detectives Ray and Gloria meet one of Sam's students, Susie. Susie admits that she was forcefully intimated to by Sam at her trailer a year ago. With Susie and Kelly's statement, Sam is immediately arrested. On the day of the trial, Kelly repeats her confession of how Sam did it. She sobs as she recounts how she begged Sam to stop, but he refused. On the second day of trial, Susie also repeats her confession of how Sam did it. Kenneth, on the other hand, proves Sam's innocence by claiming that even after Sam did it to Susie, she continued to contact him for bailing her out of jail for a variety of offenses. But one day, Sam failed to bail her out of jail after she was arrested on a minor drugs charge. Susie finally admits that Sam never did it to her or Kelly after being pressed by Kenneth. Susie wanted vengeance for not bailing her out while Kelly wanted vengeance for his affair with her mother because she is in love with Sam. Shortly after hearing Susie's statement, Sam gets cleared of the accusations. Kenneth tells Sam, Kelly's mother would now try to negotiate with Sam for defaming him. So, after consulting their lawyers, Sam and Kelly's mother agree on an $8.5 million settlement for defaming Sam. Soon after getting the money, Sam chooses to move away and takes his items from his office. He heads to a motel to spend the night. Kelly and Susie are waiting for him there. The three of them turned out to be conspirators who exploited the trial to extort money from Kelly's mother. Plus, the three of them are in love. Meanwhile, Detective Ray knows that something is wrong and that the trio planned this, since Kelly won't be able to obtain the money until her mother passes away, and Sam and Susie wanted money to pay off their obligations. As a result, they decided to con Kelly's mother and get her money. Detective Ray begins his investigation. He approaches Kelly and tries to frighten her by telling her that the three of them cannot live together for long and that one of them would have a problem sooner or later. Kelly, on the other hand, tells him to keep away from her and walks away. Susie is then approached by Detective Ray, who informs her that she is being used by Sam and Kelly. He also adds that Sam has transferred all of his funds to a foreign account and leased a sailboat. He then tries to frighten Susie by telling her that Sam and Kelly will not share any money with her. Susie panics and dials Sam's number, but he doesn't answer. Because of that, she goes to meet Kelly. Detective Ray follows her. He also listens in from a safe distance to their talk. Sam calls Kelly and urges her to persuade Susie to calm down or they'll all be jailed. Susie, on the other hand, is certain that she will be excluded from the settlement funds. They end up fighting and Kelly attempts to drown Susie. However, Kelly changes her mind and kisses Susie while Detective Ray is secretly videoing their action. The following day, Detective Ray gives his boss the videotape, 
but instead of allowing him to continue his investigation, his boss tells him to keep away from the trio. One night, Kelly and Susie go to the beach. Sam shows up later and tells Kelly to go get a blanket from her mother's car. Sam allegedly murders Susie while she is away. After wrapping her in plastic, Sam and Kelly drive to the swamp to dispose Susie's body. The following day, Detectives Ray and Gloria are alerted of Susie's absence and set out to find her. Detective Ray heads to the shore in search of any clues to Susie's disappearance. On a boat, he discovers bloodstains and teeth. The police arrive and begin checking the beach. Susie's car has been discovered near a bus terminal, according to Detective Gloria. Detective Ray is now convinced that something has happened to Susie and wants to look into it further, but his boss stops him and tells him to drop the investigation. But Detective Ray is determined to get the truth, so he asks Detective Gloria to keep a watch on Sam. Later that night, Kelly phones Sam and tells him she is afraid and doesn't want to be jailed. However, Sam promises her that nothing will happen to her and instructs her to remain at home until they depart permanently. Afterwards, Sam goes to see Detective Gloria, who is spying on him. She tells Sam about Susie's disappearance and how Detective Ray believes he had something to do with it. As a result, Sam brings Detective Gloria into his room and shows her Kelly's school files, which reveal Kelly to be an unstable, sexually conflicted adolescent. Sam informs her that Kelly was having an affair with Susie but when things didn't work out, they may have turned on each other. Sam then seduces Detective Gloria and compels her to let him go. She immediately dials Detective Ray's number and informs him that Sam is not guilty. Detective Ray, frustrated, goes to Kelly's house to talk to her, who is afraid and upset. Kelly attacks him as soon as he enters her room. Ray exits the room and collapses after hearing three gunshots. Later, Detective Ray informs the officers that Kelly had fired at him first, prompting him to retaliate and murder Kelly in self-defense. Despite the fact that no charges are filed against him, he is fired from the force for disregarding orders. Sam goes to an island to hide for a few days. When he returns to his room, he discovers Ray inside, showering. It comes out that he and Sam had been working together from the start. Sam is unhappy that Ray killed Kelly instead of framing her for Susie's death. However, Ray says they now have fewer loose ends and don't have to share the money with anyone else. Sam informs Ray that the money would be transferred in two business days. As a result, he invites Ray to join him on a sailing trip. The next day, Ray and Sam go sailing. Suddenly, Sam steers his boat and makes Ray fall into the ocean. But he makes it back onto the boat and attacks Sam but suddenly Ray is shot in his leg by Susie who is still alive. She fires another shot at Ray and makes him falls into the ocean and drowns. After that, Susie hands Sam a drink to celebrate Ray's death. Despite his initial reluctance, he eventually drinks his drink. Turns out that Susie poisoned Sam's drink and knocks him overboard so his body will not be found. Meanwhile, Detective Gloria pays a visit to Susie's grandma and asks her what she knows about Ray. Susie's grandma reveals that Ray had an affair with a girl at the Glades. One night, Ray killed a boy named Davy because he had a crush on Ray's girlfriend. Because Susie witnessed the incident, Ray had her jailed in order to silence her. Susie's grandma tells Detective Gloria about Kelly's grandpa, who once got a woman pregnant. The wife died a year after giving birth to a newborn girl. Susie's grandma took in the baby girl, who turned out to be Susie herself. Susie's mother and Kelly's mother are revealed to be half-sisters, and Kelly is Susie's niece. Susie, turns out, is the plot's ultimate mastermind, and she sails off into the sunset alone. In the flashback, Kelly and Sam had an affair when Sam was the guidance counselor at Blue Bay High School. One day, Susie visited to Sam's office and showed him the photos of him intimated with Kelly. She then blackmailed Sam to execute her plan. She was the one who arranged up Sam and Ray's first meeting. She pulled a tooth out of her own jaw with a pair of pliers at the beach. When Ray went to see Kelly, it was he who shot Kelly dead to get rid of loose ends. At the end of the movie, Kenneth meets Susie and delivers her a briefcase full of cash and a check for millions of dollars. He reveals out to have been working with Susie from the start and takes his share of the money. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.